Okay, a minor correction. I picked up this uh, semicolon earlier and called it carriage return. Uh, but it's a return, but it's a semicolon, and it's a pretty fancy thing. Uh, a pretty fancy word itself, but we'll get to talk about that a little bit later. But right now, we are going to uh, to write our first OK word. OK is, is traditionally the word we use to uh, to start displays, and displays are defined by show. OK, and we can put that there. Now, for instance, uh, if I want to just show the keyboard, uh, one thing I need to do is also deal with the background, so I'm going to put black screen and keyboard. Alright, so now I've got, okay, show black screen keyboard, and I'm going to uh, clear this, load it, hit OK, and we show the keyboard. Well, let's show something a little more interesting on the screen. I'm going to put some text on the screen, and we can uh, we can print one of the variables. Let's do that. Or we can print them both. Um, so we can, uh, first time we'll do the one. I've copied the MA and the fetch here, and I'm going to use the dot character to print. But in order to print uh, text on the screen, I need to put the, uh, put the cursor uh, somewhere to begin the print. In this case, I'm going to uh, use the word text, which does that. It puts the cursor in the top left corner and sets the color, the print color, to white. And, uh, and now we should show the uh, value stored at the, uh, in the MA variable when we OK. And there it is. It's a zero. If I want to uh, address the MA variable, I can certainly do that. Uh, if I want to put uh, something in it, I can put 456 and then uh, MA store and it prints on the screen in real time. Alright, so there's just the one thing. What if we got them both? We can do get. Uh, it turns out we want to swap those variables uh, to match the screen so that it'll match the stack when we when we do that get later. Okay, so we've loaded this and we hit OK and now we have our two variables MA is on the right and uh, TH is on the left. We can prove that we put TH uh, we can go 5 swap. Uh, we don't have swap yet so load it. Swap and store and so we have a display of our variables. Now we can turn that display on every time we load the program uh, if we want to uh, by hitting, by copying this OK word, and bringing it just here, and then change to yellow. Or I could have used the color changer key, but it would have changed to white. All right. So now when I load it, it always comes up. And when I hit the uh, editor button, a shortcut which I have is T, so it keeps it in the right hand, I can uh, look at the code. And so very quickly I can make adjustments to code and I can look at what the adjustments are, are doing. So uh, we've gotten our variable, swap, print, print, and then let's see, we can actually uh, uh, get again, put a plus in there and print. And now we have an addition. So we have 5 and 4, 56 equals 461, and now we can start to print some of those things on the uh, on the screen, and turn them into uh, sentences. So I'm going to take a quick break. Okay, so our OK word is getting a, a little long here. We can remove this much of it, let's say, and give it a name of uh, sum. Why not? And I would remove that. Oops, wrong key. And we can copy some, and we can set it in here, and we can change to green. All right. Now we do the same thing. Okay, so we've got a sum word. All right, so with our sum word, uh, we've got three things up on the screen, but we have no idea what all that means. So it would be interesting if we could uh, put some more information on the screen, like uh, the fact that it's a sum, and an easy way to do that 
is to uh, is to print this character uh, in between the first two numbers and then also some sort of equals well it turns out we don't have equals but we do have uh, letters we can use and it turns out that we can turn on our icons editor and we can look for some of these letters now uh, one thing I want is a plus and plus is the 43rd icon so we can write that down let's see ah, let's turn the icon editor back on we can go OK and it's back on and if we turn the icons keyboard back on I type the word H and spacebar and now I've got its keyboard back on and I'm going to go down here and instead of equals we'll use the word is and uh, let's see so we need an I and an S so we need uh, 7 and 8 Okay, so we've got all the, gathered all the icons we need. Uh, we need to emit them. And uh, is is going here, so it's 7. Ah, uh, let's see, turn the editor on. I'm going to choose the yellow keyboard and type in the yellow number 7 and, uh, and the yellow number 8. Now, I can only have one yellow uh, number at the well, we can talk about that too at the transition from yellow to green and since I'm not doing anything well I am doing something in between these numbers I'm emitting so I can have them both yellow so that would emit the word is and there it is it's already in there uh, looks like we need a space oh, I beg your pardon uh, green space and also we want to put our plus sign so that's uh, green 43 emit All right, and it needs a space. Now we can go over here, we can copy space, and drop it right there. All right, that turns out emit space is used in here twice. It might be convenient to instead create a word for it. Emit space, copy. This helps keep our words short. We we'll change to red definition and emit space. Okay, now when uh, we load, it looks like a math sentence. And we'll save and a quick break. Alrighty, now we can continue with our word here. We can do a couple of really quick things. For instance, uh, be nice to know what it is that we're doing here. That could be yellow. Um, and that's the we're going to emit space so it'd be nice if we knew what we were admitting and so we'll put here uh, a plus sign and and after emit here we'll put uh, an I and of course we're going to do an S so we'll do that there but it turns out that we can generalize this word slightly Oops. before I remove it I want to uh, uh, put its new name there it's called is and we will put a red word here is I could have copied it here green one there 70 minute I 80 minute F